hi guys welcome back again to the channel <coughs> today we are going to make this beautiful short gown it's a princess that uh, bustier with yoke that is the half length so we are going to start with the half length and uh, after cutting the half length we'll cut the down length which is the skate part and then join it together to form the gown if you are following this channel you understand that i have uh, a video on how to make a, a preset that bustier already so instead of making the preset that bustier the exactly the one we have in the channel already i've decided to you know show you another method of cutting a princess that bustier which is more easy simple and more straightforward especially for beginners so this is just to carry the beginners along so if you are a beginner and maybe you are finding it difficult to cut a princess that bustier i have you in mind just watch this video gently and pay attention to that this one is very simple i believe everyone will understand it no matter your level so after cutting this princess that bustier we are going to compare the two okay um if you have not watched the first one the princess that bustier in the channel please go ahead and watch it so that you'll be able to compare between the two of them so before i continue i really want to appreciate every one of you thank you for all your support and if you are new here you're highly highly welcome i'm chisom ene here i teach about hair growth and fashion tutorials so please subscribe to join the family and turn the notification bell on so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video so, with that being said, let's get started. So guys, this is the material we are going to use for the gown. This is an African print, Ankara. And then I have my lace here as well. This lace is going to cover for the yoke part and the sleeve. All right. So I'm going to set it aside. We're going to cut with this pattern paper. In case you want to cut directly on your fabric. Please just follow the same process of cutting out your material from the other princess that bust here. They're all the same. There's no difference. Okay. So after cutting this one, this particular method I'm about to show you, we are going to still arrive at the same result. So this method is a kind of a shortcut to the other method. All right. So I'm going to start now. So as usual, I'm going to mark out my starting point. So here I'm going to measure half an inch and mark. And this is this will be our shoulder line as usual. So this is our shoulder line and I will label it SL. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add my shoulder measurements. So my shoulder measurement is 16 divided by 2 will give us 8 inches and I mark. This is our shoulder measurement. So from the shoulder measurement, I'm going to extend it to 2 inches. Remember, this is a new method of cutting the princess that bustier. And it's very simple. Add your original shoulder measurement after which extend it by two inches that is add measure another two inches to that so altogether what i have here is 10 inches i hope it's clear 
So the next thing I'll do now is to come down here by one inch to slope my shoulder for shoulder slope. I believe you know, you know the reason why we are sloping the shoulder. It's because our shoulders are not straight. Our shoulders are slanted. So having sloped the shoulder, the next thing I'll do is to add my neck width. My neck width, that's the wideness of the neck. For this style, the wideness of the neck is going to be 2.5 only because it's, it's a kind of total neck line. As you can see in the style, it's a, a bishop neckline. It's not supposed to be too wide. So the next thing will be to connect this one inch here to the neck width. As simple as that. So I'll connect like this. So from here, I'm going to measure my armhole depth. My armhole depth is 8 inches. Then I mark. To get your armhole depth, you can either measure your round armhole and divide it by 2. For instance, my round armhole is 16. Then divide by 2 will give us 8. Or your bust circumference, divide by 6. Whatever you get, you add 1.5 inches to that to get your armhole depth. I hope it's clear. So this is my armhole depth. I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect like this with a straight line. Next, I'm going to draw a line like this. So the next thing the next thing I'm going to do is to draw my armhole curve. To do that, I'm going to take the midpoint of the armhole depth, which is 4. That is 8 divided by 2. Give us 4. Then I mark. So from there, I'm going to go inward by half an inch. So from this, from this half inch inward, I'm going to connect like this to the shoulder. And then from here, I'm going to draw a curve like this. So now we have our armhole curve. All right. So take a look at this line. This slanted line is now my new shoulder line it's no longer this one so for that reason i'm going to bring down these two inches here which is our original shoulder measurement like this so this is our original shoulder measurement now take note of this point so guys the next thing i'm going to do from here is to add our vertical measurements which are measurements from shoulder down. Measurements from shoulder to my bust point, for me, is 10 inches. From shoulder to my under bust, 13 inches, then I mark. From shoulder to, to the half length, is 16 inches, then I mark. And I'm going to be adding 1 inch for joining allowance, making it 17. So my half length is 17 inches. So I'm going to rule out the lines. So we have three lines now. This is my bust point. My under bust and my half length okay so guys the next thing we are going to do now is to draw our princess line or to create our princess line and to do that i'm going to come to the bust point line 
and then measure my bus pan. My bus pan is the distance from one bus to the other. So mine is seven inches. That is the nipple to nipple point measurement. I hope it's clear. So mine is seven inches divided by two will give me 3.5. I'll be adding 0 0.5 inch for sewing allowance. Making it four inches, then I mark. Okay, so coming to the under bust, I'm going to mark 3.5 inches instead of four inches. That is minus 0 0.5 inch. It is optional though, and at this point, 3.5 inches at the half length. If you want, you can just extend it, extend the Four inches to the under bust and to the half length if you want but for me this is how I want my princess line to come always come out not straight okay a kind of slanted I like the shape like that so this is how I prefer it if you don't like it like this you can bring down the four inches to the under bust and to the half length the choice is yours so guys, the next thing I'll do is to extend this line to the shoulder here, this edge. So I'm going to do that with a very slight curve, like this. This method is very simple, very simple. Yeah. It's very, very simple. Just pay attention. So now... This is our princess line so far. So the next thing I'm going to do now, remember this point. This is our original shoulder measurement. Um, I'm just going to connect it like this. I'm going to draw a straight line to meet the princess line for us to get our armhole here. Alright? So I'm going to I'm going to draw a straight line like this to meet the princess line. So this is our armhole now. This and this. Just continue watching. Don't be confused, okay? We are, get, we are going somewhere. So we are going to proceed to creating the princess bust here now. And to do that, I'm going to come to my under bust line and measure two inches and mark this is a medium size bust there are some explanation i gave you know concerning the the number of inches to add here because our busts are not the same you have different sizes of bust so please watch the other video the other princess that bust here watch it and whatever explanation i gave in that video still applies to this one so let's move on to avoid wasting much time so i'm going to connect the two points two inches here and two inches here remember we are creating the bust here now haven't gotten the princess line so from here to create the bust here, I'll come to my bust point here and I'll come down from the bust point by one inch and mark. This is my one inch here. And then this is just for us to, to be able to get a very smooth curve that is not pointed. So from here, I'm going to connect from this one inch down here to these two inches here with a curve like so. So if you don't have any curve ruler, just do that with your free hand. They are all the same. Alright? So we are done with this down part. So at this part, at this upper part, the only thing I will do here to create my curve, what I will do is to measure from the shoulder line, I'm going to measure six inches 
I'm going to measure 6 inches and mark. Okay? So this is a standard neck depth. I'm going to, then, I'll connect it to the armhole like this. This 6 inches here does not stop you from, you know, adding the neckline of your choice. If your neckline is going to pass or is going to be deeper than 6 inches, go ahead and do that. This line should not stop you. It will guide us to create our bust here so that at this point there will not be any bulge at the neckline area. Okay? So guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to come to this line, this 6 inches line here. I'm going to remove half an inch from these 2 inches at the under bust line and then place it here. So 2 inches minus 0 0.5 give us 1.5 inches. Then I mark. Remember whatever measurement you have at the under bust line, Remove only 0 0.5 and place it here. It's as simple as that. So, coming to the bust point, for us to get a smooth curve for the bust here, I'm going to come up by 1 inch and mark. This is for us to get a very smooth curve for the bust here. So guys, the next thing I'll do is to connect from this point to this 1.5 inches here like this this is my princess bustier now all right so guys the next thing we are going to do now is to extend this line to the armhole curve so in order for us to know exactly where to place this line at the armhole curve I'm going to come here and measure this line. This is our shoulder line. I'm going to measure it and whatever I have here, I'll transfer it to this place. So what I have here is 3 inches. I'll just transfer it here. 3 inches and mark. So this is where I'm going to place. This is where I'm going to extend this line to. Okay. So this method is better if you are even finding it difficult to extend your line. When you watch the other method of cutting Princess Bustier. Some people find it difficult to do this extension. In that case, this is the method I suggest for you. This is very straightforward and less stress. This way you will just do your extension with ease. Alright, so guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to look at this space here for the armhole curve. You know, for the front side, we, not, we normally come inward by 0 0.5 in, inch. So, here I'm going to take this space from here to here. I'm going to measure it and what I have... What I have here is 0 0.25. So I'm going to come here and replace it. So that in order for us to get our armhole curve for the front side. So this is it here. So I'm just going to shift this line like this. So, I've replaced this space here, and then this is what I have. We are no longer interested in this line. So, this is our new line, our original line, armhole curve. Alright? So, this is what we have. We are going to start adding our circumference measurement. So, my boss circumference is 39. Divide by 4, we give me 9.75, then I mark. So, 
here i'm going to replace this 1.5 inches that i have here i'll replace it here and add my sewing allowance of two inches so what i'll have here is 3.5 inches so i'm going to extend that to this armhole line all right coming to the under bust my under bust circumference is 34 divided by 4 will give me 8.5 then i mark so i'm going to replace this two inches plus two inches sewing allowance all together four so i'm going to do the same to the half length i'm going to address some issues concerning this uh, half length matter i've gotten a question on why the reason why i always extend my my round under bus measurement to the half length instead of making use of the waist the reason is very simple because the half length does not get to the waist it's as simple as that so if you haven't tried this method try it out and you have a perfect result don't add your original waist measurement at the navel point your measurement at the navel point is always bigger than the half length because this is just like two inches from the under bust or three inches from the under bust you get your half length okay like here well, i have here four inches minus one inch sewing allowance i'll have what i have here is three inches so it does not get to the waist so that place is always bigger if you add your waist measurement here you will not like the shape i hope it's clear so guys the next thing i'm going to do now is to add our neck line so for the style we are making the neck the neck depth is going to be 3.5 inches okay because we are making a bishop neck line so it will not be deeper and it will not be wider so i'll connect like this yeah so guys this is a very simple method of cutting a princess that bust here let me know your thoughts in the comment section do you like this method do you prefer it to the other type the other method of cutting princess that bust here and if you have not watched that first method go ahead and watch it and compare the two of them let me know the one you prefer all right and please try this out and let me know your this your let me know your results in the comment section at this point we are going to cut this we are going to cut it out okay so for shoulder allowance we are going to add the shoulder allowance when when cutting with the fabric this is something you must not forget your shoulder allowance is very important So guys, this is what we have. This is how simple and easy this method is. So guys, we are going to cut the back side. Okay, and at this point, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so that others will be able to see it. Okay, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget it. If I give it a thumbs up now, 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 before we continue, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> So let's cut the back side. So guys, we are going to cut the back side now. And for this particular style we are making, I'm going to I'm going to make use of just the basic bodice block for the back side. I don't need the princess line at the back side. So I have here the shoulder normal shoulder 8 inches there's no extension and then this is my armhole curve for the back side and then here I have my bust point and my half length the under bust is not necessary so guys this is my zip allowance 
two inches for the back side. We are going to add the, sec the, the circumference measurement and then put our darts and that will be and that will be all for the back side. So my ball circumference is my ball circumference is 39. 39 divided by 4 will give us 9.75. I'll be adding 2 inches for sewing allowance. And I'm going to extend it to the armhole. Coming to the half length, my round under bust is 34. 34 divided by 4 give me 8.5 plus 2 inches sewing allowance and 1 inch for that, making it 3 inches. So I'm going to connect the line. I'll create my dart now. And to do that, I'm going to measure my boss pan 4 inches and mark. 4 inches and mark. I'll take it half inch on both sides. Half inch, half inch, making it 1 inch. Then I'll connect. So I'm going to add my neckline. The neck depth for the back is going to be one inch because of the, the type of neckline we are cutting. So I'm going to connect with a curve and extend it, extend it to the zipper allowance. So this is what I have. So the back side is going to have yoke as well what i will do now is to connect like this i'm going to make a curve like this feel free to do whatever pleases you here if you don't want the neck the yoke to get to the boss point you can you can reduce it or increase it so whatever you want to do is up to you so this will be my the yoke. This will be the yoke for me, and I'm going to extend this to the zipper. I'm going to remove half inch at the half length for us to remove the bulge at the zip. So this is what I have now. During the sewing, I'm going to sew 2 inches. So, I hope you understand. So, at this point, I'm going to cut. I'm going to add my shoulder allowance when cutting with my fabric. It's something that you must not forget. This is the front side, this is the back side. For this front side, we are going to pad it after joining after joining the front side. Then I'm going to cut the yoke out. I will not cut the yoke out now. I hope you understand. So this is it for the half length for the style. The next thing I'm going to do now is to cut the down part. Okay, which is the skirt part so guys we are now going to cut the skate part of the gown which is the down part to do that i'm going to minus the half length which is 16 inches which is here this is 16 inches and then from my shoulder to my hip from shoulder to my hip is 25 inches. And from shoulder to my waist, which is the original waist measurement, my navel point, 19 inches. And then the length of the gown 
is going to be 38 inches the gun is very short but mine will not be as short as that so my own length is going to be 38 plus 2 inches sewing allowance making it 40 so this I folded my material into two sorry about that I should have said it before now I folded this material into two with my hip measurement which is the biggest part plus two inches allowance all right so my hip measurement divide by four plus two inches allowance that is how I place my material on fold so guys the next thing I will do now is to add my horizontal measurement which is my circumference measurement I'm going to measure my round underbust measurement here to rhyme up with the half length for the upper part. Okay? So, my round underbust measurement is 34. 34 divided by 4 will give me 8.5. Then I mark. I'm going to add 1 inch for that. This dart is optional. If you don't want to add that at the front side, you can skip it then i'll be adding two inches for sewing allowance so everything i have here is three inches extra all right coming to the waist my waist measurement is 36 36 divided by four will give me nine inches then i mark I'm going to add 2.5 inches here. Remember what I have here is 3. This place 2.5. Then at the hip line, my hip measurement is 43. Divide by 4 will give me 10.75. Then I mark 2 inches sewing allowance. Because the dart does not get to the hip. Okay. So I'm going to connect this. Make sure you add the measurement you have at the half length here so that it will match up together. I hope it's clear. So if you don't want to include this waist, this original waist measurement here, there's no problem. You just connect from here to here. It will cover for this measurement here. Like if you place your ruler like this, as you can see, and then you connect to the hip, it will cover for this measurement. I hope it's clear so I just decided to add it so that you understand how it's supposed to be done so I'm going to connect like this coming to the hemline I'm going to measure whatever I have at the hip line and minus 1.5 inches then place it to the hemline okay so here i have 13 inches minus 1.5 will give me 11 11.5 11 11.5 11 so i'm going to place it at the hemline 11.5 this is for the shape if you don't want you can take it straight if you don't want to if you don't want your your skirt to have this shape you can just take it you can just take it straight from the hip down so the option is yours feel free to do what you want so this is what i have I'm going to cut it out now and after cutting it I'm going to use it to cut the back side all right so we are now going to cut the back side and I've cut out this material to serve for the back side too so I'll simply place the front on on the back side and then cut out the shape so I'll cut it out like this. In case you did not add that at the front side, remember to add your that 
for the back side. You add your dart before you cut. All right. So for the back side, this is my zip allowance. The only thing I'll do here is to come to the hip line and measure 2.5 inches. Half inch for my butt allowance. So making it 2.5 inches. So at this side, I'll only add 2 inches for my zip. And at the hemline, I'll add 2 inches for my zip. For my zip allowance so i'm going to connect i'll connect like this so i'm going to cut it out now so i'm going to add my dart to add my dart i'm going to make use of my boss space that is boss pan four inches that is 3.5 plus half inch sewing allowance that is making it four inches then i mark for the front dart, the length will be 5 inches and then for the back side, the length will be 6 inches. So I'm going to draw my dart like this. Half inch on both sides, making it 1 inch. So this is my dart. I'll just give it a notch to guide me when during the sewing okay during the sewing i'm going to extend the back that by one inch so guys this is it for the cutting for the half length and the down part in our next tutorial we're going to be sewing the gown during that time we'll cut the yoke the sleeve and the collar okay and then the that uh, attachment at the down part. That two attachments at the down part. Everything will happen in our next tutorial. So guys, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have not turned the notification bell on, please do so. So that you will be notified when I upload that video. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Alright? And then you can share to others. You may be helping someone. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. For now, it is bye-bye.